A very simple and perhaps a lowly recipe, but yet it can be delicious and delightful that it brought memories of the Philippines to my Belgian friend, an NGO expat to Mindanao. A simple dish from corn starch from the Philippines. Romulo sourced his ingredients in Holland, and guess where he is cooking? Join the excitement and find out. Your Maha Blanca is really very delicious. I am reliving my time in Bukidnon in Bisaya. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yo, oh. you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you for watching the cooking series. Let's join Robilo at his small kitchen. Warm welcome to our cooking series. Your uncle and we are here in Holland. Romilo, today we'll be cooking a very quick recipe. It's a dessert, it's a merienda. It's called Maha Blanca. For those who are new to this channel, it's the objective of this channel to showcase our uh, easy recipes to the world, recipes from the homeland. At the same time, we expose our palate, our Pinoy palate, to easy and uh, simple adaptable recipes from other countries. You're watching channel one. There will be an interesting story to this recipe. The recipe is from the homeland. I've acquired the ingredients in Holland where I live and we'll be adding more complication to that. This make it exciting because it's very simple. And these are the ingredients for this recipe. The original version requires only coconut milk, sugar, and corn meal. And corn flour, I should say, not corn meal, it's Dutch corn meal. But the uh, recipe evolved into its current version, into a more modern uh, version as an option. We can add uh, corn kernels, sweet corn, and condensed milk. And as an option, this coconut can be uh, roasted for toppings to give that white Maha Blanca a uh, more presentable brown coating or brown dusting on top. Roasted coconut. I have here not an entire coconut, not a fresh coconut, but I sourced this from the supermarket and it's a desiccated coconut which can be stored for a long time. You might be wondering, Romulo, why are you not cooking then? Why are, what are you doing with your ingredients? Let's give more excitement to this uh, recipe. By bringing them abroad, we'll be cooking them abroad. We'll be cooking them in Belgium. So join me for this Maha Blanca's journey. See you in Belgium later. And you will forget our accessories. Sun protection. And perhaps a bandana to give this a more Pinoy feel. No, 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 we'll be doing that. <laughs> See you later in Belgium. Hello, welcome to Belgium. And in my, I'm in my friend's kitchen. He's Wilfred. Hello, uh, everybody. Yeah. Hello, everybody. And he speaks welcome Bisaya. Welcome to my house. Bisaya, yeah. Kapunya <laughs> <laughs> Bisaya. To our friends from Mindanao and Cebu, he speaks Bisaya. Pero dalinta naman ako ang ubang mga sinultihan sa Bisaya. Oh, okay. Doon ka na wala ko practice. Okay, pero karon mag-practice ka ako. Oh, kung sa'yo mong luto ang karon. Karon, as requested, this is his favorite actually. It's Maha Blanca. He requested this before and I did it. Now I'm... Nice, nindot ka ayo. Nindot ang lami. Malami. So this was the bag that you saw me pack in Holland. Well, we are unpacking. This is our very basic uh, requirement, basic need, or basic re uh, ingredient. Maizena. Maizena is corn flour. And that. And sugar. This is the only requirement. Basic. But, as I said in my, er my, it, in my earlier... You have to make it the presentation correctly. Yeah. In my earlier vlog, it also evolved to include condensed milk. Mm -hmm. And corn Go. kernels. That's it. And to decorate it later, we need a desiccated or a coconut. And this is from Holland. Mm -hmm. 
Coconut from Holland. Yeah. Wow. This is so it's easy. I'll show you. Yeah. We just need three four cup. Uh, I just let you do, yeah. Yeah. And because what? I am not so good in. Uh, I will just watch. Yeah, yeah. So just three four cup. I just approximate three fourths. I can give you a cup. Yeah. But it's good to put first. Give it a cup. Yeah. Not that cup. Measuring cup. First the gata. Gata. Yeah. The the. Uh, coconut cream or coconut milk and we add three fourth cup of this approximately three Please. spoon uh, uh stirring or uh, what's this the uh what's it called in english i even forgot the uh, it's easy it's very easy well friend actually it's just go go think go go Tuduan ko nimo aron mahibala put nako. Yeah. Unsa unta ko sa sunod sunod sa sunod sunod ikaw na magluto. This I even forgot what this is called. This is a blender. Whisker. Yeah. Now I understand. I remember whisker. Uh, tinidor would be fine. Tinidor. Yeah. Would be in. This is too big for a small um, recipe. Just dissolve your flour like this. Dissolve and while uh, stirring, while stirring, you know what? I should have uh, pre warm the the uh, liquid. It's better to dissolve flour in warm liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mistake, I was too excited. And let's just add this. That is the milk. Yeah, and sugar, Wilfred. Uh, if you're not using milk, uh, we will be needing three fourths as well. But since we're using milk or condensed milk, just one fourth cup of that. Help me add it, Wilfred, please. Sorry. One one fourth, one fourth cup, approximately. Uh, you tell me when it's enough. Yeah. More. More. Three more, I think. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. By the way, we'll be giving you the complete description and proportion of the ingredients in the description box below. Yeah, that's my no, because Aaron is a improvista, no? Yeah. What is improvista? Improvise? Yeah, improvise. This, this is, is improvise. This is not improvise. This is how simple like, the recipe is. Ah, okay. Yeah, and it's related to boiling. Since there are, we should have sifted it really. I'm, I got too excited. Imagine you are so excited because you come to Belgium yes. today. Because of the um, because of this recipe, imagine a recipe that uh, uh, originated from the Philippine Islands, and then I purchased the ingredients in Holland, and I'm cooking it in Belgium. Wow, that's exciting! Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, we'll just uh, boil it. So we'll just boil it. I think while while uh, boiling it, I might as well whisk it. Yeah, mm. to break the uh, globes, globules. Imagine whisking while cooking. Never seen before. Only a channel one. Yeah, every week I look on channel one to see what you have been cooking. Okay. So uh, I sometimes I try already some recipes of you. Uh -huh. Like uh, today I will make your paella. Yeah, paella. And then the other uh, week I cooked also with uh, Coca Cola. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was nice. How it was nice. It was nice. I was surprised by the result. It smells like cinnamon, yeah, Coca Cola. Yeah. yeah. And then also the the Mexican uh, food. Chili con carne. Uh, it's chili con carne. That's I prepared. Not, that's not Mexican. That's Tex-Mex. Or Tex-Mex. Yeah. Okay. It was nice. Yeah. So I am one of your uh, followers. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, how did I follower? Yeah. Thank you. And talking about followers, I uh, would like to thank our uh, followers or our regular viewers in America and in Canada because they comprise the next uh, biggest group of watchers aside from our mm -hmm. our compatriots in the homeland thank you and our growing uh, 
uh, what says growing uh, group of viewers also from the UK. Special thanks to George the Third, King George. Thank you for the royal approval. I might as well make this sweeter than normal. Well, Freddy, let's see you. <laughs> because this is, there are, how many guests are coming? I think there would be at least five. Yeah, and this will not serve uh, much. So I'm making it sweet. So each person will just be eating a small portion. <laughs> yeah, that's a secret. If you don't have much, make it powerful. And while, uh, I don't know, let's just do this first. Avoid multitasking when you're cooking. That's what I learned. So imagine cooking and yet doing another dish and at the same time presenting. It's not easy. Now it's uh, getting uh, thicker. Wilfred, you were asking something? Yes. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is boiling. Yes, if you can, you mix everything together and then you start boiling. Yeah, boiling. And, and how long you have to boil it and now? Until it solidifies. Okay. Yeah. It's now solidifying. If you can cook paste or pandiket in Tagalog, you can make this. What's that? Uh, 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 Plak middle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can uh, make a pandiket or cola in Ilocano, you can make this. It's easy. It's just go go. Thick and go. Thick go go. Thick almiron. Yeah, almiron. Thick almiron. Just like uh, preparing starch for for uh, clothes. Yeah. Look, it's not thickening. Uh, where did you taste this first, uh, Wilfred? In Bukidnon? In Bukidnon, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Whenever there was like fiesta or a wedding, there was also Maya Blanca. It's Maha Blanca. Maha Blanca. Okay. Sorry, Maha Blanca. Kung sa Bukid non or sa sa Surigao, uh, pwede rin Maja, Maja oh, Blanca. Oh. Yeah. Dugan kaya ko nakhawa sa Bukid non, so akong bisaya, it's not like it used to be. Yeah, but that's, please, that's the problem now. It's that's why you're exercising. Yeah. You know what? You know what? There are lots of Bisaya uh, YouTubers in Holland, but they don't watch me. I don't know why. They don't like me. Why? I don't know why. Because you're in Ilocano. I don't know why. But thank you to Ivy E who is supporting me. But here in Belgium, you, have, uh, you are very successful with your program. Really? Because I have a Belgian... Yeah, uh, yeah. And, the, and the Belgian Embassy watches Channel 1. <laughs> And I forgot to mention at low plane because this is Libers. Yeah. I think it's ready to be put into the mold. Mm -hmm. Let me just taste it first. Maybe it's really done. Malami? <laughs> Lame. Mm. I think I've seen versions where they put also like uh, raisins. Yeah, no, this raisins is coconut. Raisins, yeah, it works, whatever nuts you have. Yeah. Or fruits, dried fruits. Mm, yeah. You can make your own version. You can add anything. Except pork. Oh, perhaps, yes. A savory maha blanca without the sugar but pork. Let's try that. Because opia works. Why not maha blanca with pork? Let's try that next. Let me check again. Now, you don't need this one? I need that. Eh? I need that. Ah, you need this? I'll be, I'll be roasting coconut to top it. Oh. Okay. And place it here. I think this is too big. Let's see. We need something smaller. Uh, I already put it here. Uh, it's okay. It's too late. Mm. I would say it's perfect. It's too thin for presentation. Mm. 
the Malaysian would be surprised. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, at this moment, I'd like to uh, remember our friend Jose. He's not with us today, really. Now, this looks good, but it's not yet done. I have to cook, or I have to to roast uh, coconut. Small portion. With patience, we're able to uh, turn the coconut into light brown and still be enough. We're not making co coconut coffee. Yeah. With the meager coconut that we have, sprinkle a bit. Yeah. Looks nice and delicious. Yeah. How long I have to wait before I can try? Because now it has to cool down. Uh, you have to bring this to or put this into your freezer. Mm. Or to accelerate the cooling down. Or just to the to the uh, refrigerator. I can't wait to try. It will be good, really. He will cry. Missing Bukidnon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. For sure. I miss Bukidnon every day. Yeah. I will put it in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Romy, what happened to our Maha Blanca? I am uh, curious. Wow, looks delicious. Look at this, my God. Let's share it with our friends, with our visitors. Let's go to our garden. Come with me. Okay, introducing. Uh, oh. that, that is, what is, is that for the smell? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Introducing Maha Blanca. Far from my patria adorada, Rincón del Sol Querida. But uh, to patria as uh, Filipinos or as uh, Ilocano? Filipinas. Ah, Filipinas. Yeah. Pero okay. mi pueblo es el el loco. Yeah. Loco. Yeah. Romy, don't worry. I can have a few pieces. Yes, really. Yeah, okay. because it's so. I know it's so delicious. Maha Blanca, especially made for Wilfredo. Wow! Thank you very much, Romy. I will invite you more often, so I can try more of the Filipino taste. Yeah. Yeah. Lessons learned. <laughs> if you cook more Maha Blanca, you earn more hospitality credits from Wilfred. <laughs> if you bring Maha Blanca, you are always invited to my place. Yeah, and always invited to and my and house. Yeah, and to my beautiful garden. Yeah, and I have to research more on the tambon tambon. Yeah, you have to do some more research Stop. because I would it's like you like to. It. Teach me how to prepare the Bizaya patotin. Hey, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. my plate is already finished. Can I have some more Maha Blanca? Ma it is so delicious. You my can God, have it all, my dear. My God. As, you, uh. as long as you pledge your uh, allegiance to the Philippines. <laughs> well, that's maybe a little bit exaggerated, but I love the Filipino food. Okay. I love the, the Philippines. <laughs> my God. So the, yeah, more, 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 more. Yeah, one more, one more. Okay. Okay. So, oh, it's so delicious. Okay. Thank you very much, Romy. Thank you. Bye to all my friends in the Philippines. Bye. Especially the Bisaya. It's a Bisayas, yeah. <laughs> I can live with Costa Bezayas. Sada Fau, Usa Bukit Non, Uka Gian de Oro, and Todas Partes de Bukit de Mindanao. Okay. Go on, but you're very new. Yeah. Oh my god, I mix everything. I mix, I, I mix everything. And we don't forget to say thank you as well to our friends in Luzon. Not just Mindanao, Bukit Non, and Cebu, but to the rest of the Philippines and our friends, to our friends outside the country, in the United States, in Canada, in UAE, Australia, Europe, and beyond. Thank you for joining us. Your Kuya and Uncle here, greeting you today from Belgium. On behalf of my friends here, the, our cameraman, Yaya Ludo, and Jose, who is no longer with us, we dearly remember him. We'd like to say thank you for watching. Until next time, from our kitchen in Holland or from our garden. 
Dios te guarde. And that, and that concludes our Maha Blanca episode. I'd like to close with our channel's national anthem. This, this is a pudding. I even forgot what's our national anthem. Nee. Ang bayan ko'y tanging ikaw Pilipinas kong mahal Ang puso ko at buhay man Sa iyo'y ibibigay Tungkulin ko'y gagampanan Nalagi kang paglingkuran Kusina mo'y babantayan Pilipinas kong hiran uh, Rumi, I have to admit your Maha Blanca is really very delicious Of course it's, it's Channel It's like one. an angel pissing on my tongue <laughs> So delicious It's... Uh, I am reliving my time in Bukitnong in Bisaya. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yo, oh. you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you very much. And how many, how many people were pissing on your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>